take a look at the, the HL extension. Um, so I'll just zoom in here. So the HL extension uh, asks you to, to research and deliver two 10 minute presentations. All right, and these will be video recordings. So research is important and the delivery. Um, during the course of the process, you can share one draft with the teacher for feedback, but no more than that because it's supposed to be the student's own work and uh, they're trying to safeguard that, that uh, teachers don't get too involved with what's happening. So uh, with these presentations, there are six major themes that you can connect to. One is security, identity, borders, environment, poverty, and health. So it's important to choose one of those themes. Um, so some tips. Because of those themes, you should be consistently linking to one of those six themes throughout the presentation. Um, you should also consult and acknowledge a variety of sources, whether they be in the form of books, journals, uh, things that are online. Uh, the case study that you look at should not be too broad uh, because there's only 10 minutes to, to analyze it. So having something too broad, um, maybe you can't go in depth as you want to. And the, the case study, you can see case study here, sorry, bad joke, um, should deal with issues that date uh, at least one year back. And the reason for this is that they, they want you to be able to draw some long-term conclusions, even if it hasn't concluded yet. Uh, they want uh, enough information to be there so that you can analyze, which is the next step. So when you analyze uh, some key things, why events happened the way they did, uh, you want to look at the political, social, and economic impacts and challenges in the related theme. So if you chose security, what are the, the challenges to security that this case study poses? All right, some more tips. Uh, you should have a question at the beginning, uh, similar to the engagement activity, and uh, even TOK things like uh, having a knowledge question. So you should have a research question at the beginning uh, that is answered in the conclusion. So you should always sort of come back to that at the end. You ought to evaluate the, the weaknesses and strengths of all arguments, similar to what you would do in a TOK presentation when you look at uh, point counterpoint. And you want to involve the different perspectives in there. So bringing in those levels of analysis, um, such as regional, um, national, international, those kinds of things. You also want to have a strong conclusion where you tie back into the question, as I mentioned before, and also uh, relating back to the theme. And the big one is uh, try to keep it within the time limit. And that's why they don't want you to choose a, a case study that's too broad, because you wouldn't be able to do it effectively within 10 minutes. Um, some visual aids are, are good. Uh, because it, it keeps people sort of interested and gives them something to look at while you're talking. So different graphs and charts and pictures. Also signposting is a good idea. Uh, give the, the viewer an idea of where you're going with this case study along the way. Um, cue cards are allowed, um, which is something that I would definitely encourage, just having little drawings or, or some statements on there that, that keep, you, keep you going throughout the presentation. And the presentation should be lively and engaging. Again, you're speaking for 10 minutes. Examiners have to look at a lot of these. You want to keep them interested throughout. Uh, so the structure. So the intro should be about one to two minutes where you're introducing the theme and the case study and some key facts about the, the case study. Oh, sorry, the case study over here. The, the second part, which is the main part, the analysis and evaluation is about seven minutes long. And you should be looking at the political challenges of the case, links to key concepts, uh, different perspectives, response of stakeholders, and the social, economic, and political impacts of the case study. And lastly, the conclusion should be one to two minutes. How does this case pose a political challenge? You should be answering that question. And where else do people, uh, sorry, this should be face, not pace face this challenge and different links to other things that are going on in the world. So just to tidy things up. So, uh, yeah, a little bit messy here at the end, but you can see it's um, quite an involved piece of work, but doable. Hope this helps.